Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. You came here for tech news? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know how to break this to you guys, but <sighs> that's exactly yep. what we do here. We do the tech yep. news. Get yep, the tech news. let's do it. <laughs> Nvidia might have thought they got the drop on AMD, releasing the RTX 2060 and 2070 Super a week before the Radeon RX 5700 and 5700 XT, but really, Team Green just got played. Get right. AMD is dropping the price of their upcoming cards. The RX 5700 will be 349, going up against the RTX 2060 at the same price. The RX 5700 XT will be 399, the same price as the 2060 Super and $100 less than the 499 2070 Super. And the overclocked 5700 XT Anniversary Edition will be 449, still $50 less than the 2070 Super. And if leaked benchmarks of these Navi-based cards are accurate, the new price points will make AMD's cards cards quite competitive, with second gen Ryzen CPUs getting price cuts ahead of the third gen Ryzen and new Radeon launch this Sunday, AMD might be set to enjoy a nice weekend. Come on, Nvidia. You can't play a player. You're playing checkers. AMD's playing 4D auto chess. <laughs> yeah. 4D team fight tactics. Get your red shirts. Dota Underlords. Yep. I haven't played any of those games. It's terrible. That's a Edsel, if anyone should know, it's you, Ed. Also, hey guys, I like this shirt, go buy one. Anyways, Apple might have finally seen the light or listened to their users. As reports indicate the company is moving on from its almost universally disliked MacBook Pro butterfly keyboard. Apple analyst, which is apparently a job. Who knew? Sounds fun. Ming-Chi Kuo believes Apple will introduce a new keyboard using a scissor switch design, beginning with a refreshed MacBook Air to launch later this year, followed by a MacBook Pro in 2020. All three generations of Apple's butterfly keyboards have been plagued with issues caused by debris easily getting under the keycap and obstructing the switch, leading Apple to institute a dedicated service program offering free keyboard repairs. Did you make use of it? No. You don't have a MacBook? No. That's why? No. You know, maybe this was the straw that broke Joni Ives' back. Like, maybe he didn't understand that just because something's beautiful doesn't mean it's not sucky. Did you ever see the, the Apple mouse with the charging port on the bottom? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't get me started. And G2A.com is responding to critics calling for gamers to pirate games rather than buy them from the online game store. Those critics include developers who say many of the game keys available on G2A are purchased using stolen credit cards, which means game makers potentially lose revenue from those sales. In their response, G2A said they're no different from other marketplaces like Amazon or eBay, and that if suspected fake keys are reported and they find the keys are illegally obtained, they'll remove them, block the seller, and report it to the authorities. G2A even announced that it will ask an independent auditing company to examine whether there's any funny business going on behind the scenes. This whole thing is only the latest tussle in the saga of whether G2A is sketchy or not. And despite their reasonable defense, when we've been talking about their sketchiness for this long, probably a little sketchy. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh yeah. Unless it's just, unless it's just smoke and you're just like smoking. Maybe it's steam. Smoking salmon, oh. steaming, steamed, steamed hams. Yes. Could be. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Private Internet Access. What does it do? I mean, the, the name, it's, it's in the name, it's right there. PIA allows you to dial in the exact level of privacy protection that you need online with support for a variety of VPN protocols and types of encryption. Whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux, Google Chrome, Firefox, or Opera, PIA can protect you like a Kevlar umbrella when it's raining bullets. PIA also features DNS and IPv6 leak protection, an internet kill switch, which will block all traffic if the VPN becomes disconnected unexpectedly, and you can connect up to five devices at once. Check it out today at the link below. Look, Colton, don't ask me for the quick bits. You're getting, do the quick bits! I said, I just said. Love you. Amazon could be held liable for third-party products sold on its website if a ruling from a Philadelphia Court of Appeals is upheld. That means customers could sue Amazon directly if they buy third-party products, which account for around half of all items on the store, that turn out to be defective. Quick, Philadelphians, buy all the cheap knockoff stuff you can find. There's gold in them there, jungle. You get it, Amazon. Oh, the Amazon jungle. Yeah, Amazon jungle. I didn't There's gold in, yeah, okay. Moving on. Well, I guess we found out why Apple issued a recall for some 2015 MacBooks last month. They could explode. 
Okay, not, not really, maybe. A designer posted images of his MacBook Pro after it caught fire, and it appears to be one of the models affected by the recall. So if you were dragging your feet on bringing your machine in, maybe, you know, call an Uber, like, right now. Or a taxi, we don't have Uber. No, we need Uber. We need, please, we won't let them, give us Uber. Vancouver. Call a Vancouver. Vancouver! Vancouver, they should do that. <laughs> Usually you don't have to go download a separate app to get updates for your phone, but apparently 10 million people didn't know that. That's how many people downloaded an app called Updates for Samsung, which actually did deliver the proper firmware updates, but also charged $34.99 a year to access them while filling the screen with advertisements. Maybe we should make people have a license to use the Play Store, you know, like a driver's license. Don't give them any ideas. That's true, I should, yeah, never mind, cancel that. Tesla promised we'd have fully autonomous vehicles by next year, but BMW and Mercedes are trying to be a bit more realistic. The two car makers have announced plans to release level four self-driving cars which can drive on the Autobahn and park themselves by 2024. But by Elon Musk's estimation, we'll have already uploaded our minds to the cloud by that time, so like, what's the point? Cloud will drop us We need self-driving cars in the computer. And are you tired of having literally every song ever made constantly at your fingertips? Go back to the good old days with the world's first Bluetooth audio cassette player. It's called the It's Okay, that's the name, by a company named Nim Lab. But if you can get over all that confusion, it looks like it could be a great dose of nostalgia, right in time for Stranger Things 3. <laughs> oh, the 80s. Were you even alive in the 80s? Uh, 88. Oh. I was alive for two of them. Yes, sir. And they you're, were the. You're my superior. You're an adult. I'm. You're my elder. I own you. Oh wow. But the '80s are now over, and so is this episode. Thanks for watching, all you wonderful, beautiful people. Tell you what, subscribe to TechLinked, and I'll meet you back here on Monday. We'll reminisce about the good old days. Oh, when... I remember Friday. It was great, and now it's Monday. You're not old. You, you, why oh. do you sound old? You're, I, we just said, I'm older than you. Sorry, sir. Thank you. Res respect me.